Hi everyone, I'm Mahesh Makija, Partner and Technology Consulting Leader for EY India. I'm thrilled to share with you the key insights from our latest report on generative AI and its potential to accelerate India's digital transformation. In 2023, we saw massive innovation in the capabilities of the foundation models that power Gen AI. We were all awestruck with what they can do with natural language, images, voice and video. Many of you have already got your feet wet in this technology and are in the midst of experiments and POCs as you investigate the power of Gen AI. Going forward into 2024, I'm confident that we will break free from demos, labs and POCs into the open terrain of consumer and industrial applications. Millions of Indian citizens stand to benefit from next generation approaches across a swath of domains, healthcare, drug discovery, financial services, education and entertainment. Indian enterprises are super optimistic about Gen AI's potential. We conducted a survey of around 200 C-suite leaders across various sectors. 82% of them recognized Gen AI as a significant lever for their business change. 75% acknowledge its critical impact on customer engagement and operations. But at the same time, almost three out of four respondents indicate a low to moderate level of readiness to leverage Gen AI's benefits. There's a lot of confusion out there. Where's the value going to come from? How to build on this technology? How to deal with hallucination? Protect against data privacy issues? You know, in a report, we have a deep dive into all these issues. And we've also got a Gen AI Ready Reckoner to help companies prepare for this new paradigm. We then conducted what we think is the first ever macro estimate of the impact of Gen AI on the Indian economy. We estimate a cumulative GDP impact of between 1.2 to $1.5 trillion over the next seven years. We have a full deep dive into, the se into several sectors with what we think are the main areas where Gen AI will create impact. So then the question becomes, what role will India play in this transformation? Today, India has one, got one of the most open digital infrastructures in the world. We have production scale utilities in digital identity via Aadhaar, KYC, payments through UPI and e-commerce. India will also be one of the largest markets in the world. We'll therefore contribute a very significant amount of data that will be leveraged by AI. We have a significantly large base of tech talent, a very vibrant startup ecosystem. So can India play a pivotal role in changing and setting the pace for this new paradigm? To realize this potential, several things need to fall in place from a policy perspective. In the report, we've gone deep into the policy agenda. India will have to dramatically up its game to compete. An increased government role in the development and deployment of critical compute infrastructure, incentives for startups and corporates to innovate, enabling access to Indian data sets and marketplaces and clarifying the regulatory regime around advanced AI. You know, I really invite you to read this entire report, right? Delve into these compelling statistics, gain valuable insights into the future of India's economic landscape powered by Gen AI. We'll be doing many more of these series and events around this theme, so stay tuned.